Yes. Hello, friends. Welcome to the channel Physics by ITNs. As NEET examination is just one day, uh, so I think it's the best time for your revision of formulas. And today I shall discuss some important formulas related to quantum mechanics, which you should remember at the time of your exam. OK, don't get panic. Just relax and remember these formulas. That's all. So the first of all, you should all know about the Broglie really relation that is P equals to H by lambda or P equals to H cross K. OK, what is H cross? H cross is the uh, uh, H is the Planck constant and H cross is H by 2 pi and K is the de Broglie wave vector. Now, what is the Planck Einstein relationship? That is E equals to H nu or H nu can be written as H cross omega where omega equals to 2 pi nu and h cross equals to h by 2 pi. The dispersion relation that is, if you want to find out the variance in statistical mechanics, what do you usually do? You usually follow this formula that is suppose a quantity A, you want to uh, want the variance of that quantity that is del A whole square equals to average of A minus average of A whole square. That it can be written as A square average minus A average square. So first of all, you take the square and then average and then uh, the, you take the average and then square. Okay. So the square, average, square of average minus average of square. Uncertainty principle in general relationship that is delta A whole square into delta B whole square that is delta A delta B are the uncertain uncertainty uncertainties in quantity A and delta B is the uncertainty in quantity B and it is greater than or equals to one by four uh, average of iota a cap comma b cap that is a commutation of o square momentum position uncertainty relation that is delta p delta x is greater than equals to h cross by 2 it is also known as heisenberg uncertainty relation energy time uncertainty relation delta e into delta t is greater than equals to h cross by 2 now phase and number phase uncertainty relation that is delta n into delta phi is greater than equals to half probability density that is probability of x comma t into dx is mod of psi square into dx where psi is the wave function it is the one dimensional relationship probability density probability density current that is j is h cross by twice i m psi star del psi del x minus psi del psi star del x j is h cross by twice i m psi star grad psi minus psi grad psi star in case of r that is the three dimension okay so del del x operator will be replaced by this gradient operator continuity equation that is del dot j equals to del minus del, del t or you can write it as minus del del t of psi psi star where rho is psi psi star is the probability probability density. Schrodinger equation is h cap psi equals to i h cross del psi del t where h cap is the Hamiltonian. Particle in stationary states. So we have to consider the total energy as E. So the kinetic energy plus potential energy equals to total energy. So the Hamiltonian, the kinetic energy operator is minus h cross square by twice m del 2 del x2 plus v of x is the potential operator and those will act on psi and it will give you E psi. Okay. So next that is conjugate operator or Hermitian operator. Hermitian conjugate operator is the following relation that is integration over A cap. A cap is the operator over a wave function phi. If you take the star and into psi into dx, it will give you integration over psi star into a cap psi dx. So this is the Hermitian operator. So a cap psi stars, uh, if cap psi star or uh, phi star into psi dx equals to integration over phi star into a cap psi dx. Position operator that is x to the power n. Momentum operator that is px or px to the power n. It can be written as h cross by i or i h cross minus uh, del del x or del n del x n. Kinetic energy operator T cap equals to minus H cross square by twice M del 2 del X2. Hamiltonian that is H, co H cap is minus H cross by 2 M del 2 del X2 plus V of X. Angular momentum that is suppose you are taking the only the LZ operator. So LZ cap equals to X cap PY cap minus Y cap PX cap and L square that is the 
uh, uh, momentum operator, which is the combination of all the three components, that is Lx square plus Ly square plus Lz square. Parity operator, that is P cap psi, which is operating on the function psi of r, it will give you psi of minus r. Expectation value or average value, that is A average equals to integration over psi star A cap psi dx, or you can write it in terms of the bracket notation that bra psi get A cap get psi. Time dependence, so the this is the another form that is dd operator if you take the derivative of the average of the operator or expectation value of a, uh, of an operator then ddt of a cap average equals to i by h cross hamiltonian commutes with the operator a cap uh, that is commutator of hamiltonian h uh, comma a plus del a del d that is total time derivative over that a vector or a operator okay so this uh, relation you also seen in the classical mechanics also this is a lagrangian operator we can do like this way and we take here the poisson bracket and here it is commutator okay so eigenvalues you all know about a cap psi n equals to an psi n where is this operator a cap has the eigenvalue of an and it is giving the returning the psi psi n as it is or you can write psi wave function is a linear combination or all, all the psi n values that is the superposition principle that is sum of cn psi n or a average can be written as mod of cn square sum of mod of cn square into a n where cn square is the complex conjugate of the constant and first theorem that is m ddt of r average equals to p ddt of p average equals to minus grad v average matrix element that is a n m we can write in terms of matrix as n a cap m and bra vector state vector this is the bra vector notation this is the ket vector notation how do you represent the scalar operator or scalar product like this way or you can write it like integration over sine star psi m dx expectation value you can write if psi equals to combination or superposition of all the psi n that is sum of m cn phi n uh, psi n then a average can be written as sum of m sum of n cn star cm a n m Okay, so psi is the wave function, cn is the probability amplitudes, and a n m here, this a n m is the matrix element, and psi n are the basis vectors, a cap is the operator, and n m are the eigenvector indices. Suppose I have a potential step. So for the incident particle, this is a step potential of amount V0. So the potential function for X is less than zero, it is zero. For X is greater than zero, it is V0. So the wave number, wave function, wave numbers are H cross square K square equals to twice M E, H cross square Q square equals to twice M E minus V0. Amplitude reflection coefficient R equals to K minus Q by K plus Q. So K and Q are the particle wave numbers. V naught is the step height and V is the particle potential energy. Okay, this is potential energy and this is the step height. Amplitude transmission coefficient T is 2K by K plus Q. Probability currents H I uh, H1 for this first region that is H cross K by M into 1 minus mod of R square and j for probability current for this region 2 j2 is h cross q by m mod of d square so j1 is the particle flux in zone 1 j2 is particle flux in zone 2 for the barrier tunneling suppose this kind of potential that is it is 0 for this region and 3 1 and 3 and this is v naught for in between region that is 2 so the wave numbers and tunneling constant that is that are h cross square k square equals to twice me for this zero potential region and for the v naught potential region it is h cross square kappa square equals to 2m into v naught minus e okay so amplitude reflection coefficient transmission reflection coefficient you can remember or you cannot that's up to you but you should remember this tunneling probability that is mod of t square that is 4 k square kappa square by k square plus kappa square whole square sin hyperbole square 2 kappa a plus 4 k square kappa square or it can be approximately written as 16 k square kappa square by k square plus kappa square whole square exponential minus 4 kappa a mod of t square is less less than 1 
probability currents for the first region it is h cross square h cross k by m into 1 minus mod r square and for the third region it is h cross k by m mod of t square so particle in the rectangular box if we take this a rectangular uh, the sides are a b c okay so psi that is the eigen function is a function of l m n this is 8 by a b c whole to the power 1 by 2 sin l by x by a sin m pi y by b sin n pi z by c so psi l m n are the eigen functions a b c are the box dimensions and l m n are integers and must be greater than or equals to 1. The energy levels that is E L M N is H cross square by 8 M, L square by A square plus M square by B square plus N square by C square, where M is the particle mass. The density of states that is rho E D E equals to 4 pi by H cube twice M cube E whole to the power 1 by 2 into D E, where rho E is the density of states or density of states per unit volume or energy states per unit volume okay so it will give you the density so if there are the spinless particle in the rectangular box bounded by plane x equals to 0 y equals to 0 z equals to 0 and x equals to a y equals to b z equals to c and this potential is 0 inside and infinite outside the box Okay, so harmonic oscillator, the Schrodinger equation will be minus h cross square by twice m del 2 psi del x2 plus half m omega square x square into psi n equals to e n psi n. So h cross is Planck constant, m is the mass of the oscillator and psi n is the nth eigen function and x is the displacement and n is greater than or equal to 0. Omega is its angular frequency. En is the total energy in n state and the energy levels are En equals to n plus 1 by 2 h cross omega. Eigen functions are psi n equals to h n from x of x by a exponential minus x square by twice a square divided by n factorial into 2 to the power n into a into pi to the power 1 by 2 whole to the power half. H n is the harmite polynomials and a can be written as a equals to h cross by m omega whole to the power half. Harmite polynomials that is for h naught is 1, h1 is 2y, h2 4y square minus 2, hn plus 1 is 2y into hn of y minus 2n into hn minus 1 of y where y here is a dummy variable and for the zero point energy this is e naught and it will be half h cross omega so our hydrogen atom the quantization condition for the from the Bohr model that is uh, m r omega m r square omega or here it should we should write m not m we should write mu that is the reduced mass that is mu into r naught square omega equals to n h cross Bohr radius a naught equals to 0.52 m strong or 15 2.9 picometer or it can be written as epsilon naught h cross a square by pi m e square orbit radius that is rn the proportionality okay you should remember the proportionality that is rn is inversely proportional to mu rn is directly proportional to n square okay Total energy En is inversely proportional to N square, is directly proportional to Z square, is directly proportional to mu. Fine structure constant alpha equals to 1 by 137 or it can be written mu naught C square by twice H. Hattery energy EH is H cross square by ME N naught square. Red bar constant is directly proportional to alpha square and it is E R infinite equals to m e e to the power 4 by 8 h cube epsilon naught square into c but r, r infinite is directly proportional to mass okay m read work formula that is 1 by lambda m n is equals to r infinite into mu by m e into z square 1 by n square minus 1 by m square so m and n are different energy levels so thank you for watching this video all the best for your upcoming examination we shall share another formula sheet for the electromagnetic theory and electrodynamics part in this video, in the next video. Thank you.